Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Endless Space with me, Get Daved. So last time was most of a mostly a mustering video. Well, if that's hard to say. This time, uh, who knows? We might do something with all our ships. Starting to get a decent military presence over on the frontier. Can merge some of our fleets together. They're sneaking some sh ships around behind our lines, no big deal. Let's send the Admiral over to deal with the blockade at Indusa, which, you know, we really shouldn't let that happen, but... And in the meantime, I'll let that wait one more turn. Actually, no. Six per turn, nine per turn. Okay, fine. I'll let it wait a turn. But not this guy. These ships look like little fishes to me. Or like the aliens from Prometheus. There is a properly reviled movie. Invasion ongoing at Kerr. That's discouraging. Never mind. It's been taken care of. Level up to my friend and yours, the Builder. We're going to put it into labor. The Builder is conflicted about fighting a little blind girl. Give yourself 20 get Dave points if you catch that reference. Oh? Uh, yeah, you, sure, you guys can destroy Forager 18, the most vicious of their <laughs> servants. Good, no hit points lost. Kinda disappointed that we didn't get a chance to fight those guys, but oh well. I think I'm going to leave this fleet here, because we might be going for an invasion at Phaeton, Phaeton shortly. Population max, do you say? Okay, better research, always nice. Now what? Seriously? You guys have the worst ceasefires of all time. Okay, before we do that... We colonize there because the population is capped. Then after that, stupid pilgrims. All right, let's figure out what we're doing with our research here. We'd have to build that. It's not too expensive. Uh, I'll take plus 15% tonnage on ships. Actually, I will take both of these. Plus 20% on ecstatic. I've, I can get that relatively easily. I've got all my people drugged up on blue cat mold. Let's face it, a lot of us tried the blue cat back in college. Actually, kids, stay away from the blue cap. Whoa, they can make one of these in one turn. Oh, with some leftover production, that's why. Still, not bad. Not 
bad at all. Wrath, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Let's take a look at our diplomatic situation with the pilgrims. I Oh, the ceasefire expires in one turn. That's actually really good news. Then maybe we can get somewhere in our diplomatic situation with them. Alright, fleets at Pleon. We're starting to get really good numbers. Command points still aren't very good. We have a small but powerful fleet. I'm okay with that. Anybody bordering on an economic victory? Alright. Indusa. Keep it up. Alright, the important change up coming here is one, the ability to destroy that scout, but assuming there's no unforeseen problems with uh, the pilgrims and, you know, peace. No, you're trying to drag me into a war. Good news, oh, oh no. Okay, it's just scouting. I'm okay with scout scouting. Scouter's gonna scout. Uh, veteran 1 tends to unlock better abilities, so we'll go with that. All the veteran moves tend to unlock good abilities. Alright. Keep shipping them over. All of that one stick around because good ships will be coming. And pilgrims. Okay, one more turn. Apparently I misunderstood the one turn remaining thing, but I guess it was quite subjective. One person's number one is everybody else's one. Why did I make this manual? Kill it. Sure he's got one missile, but I don't think that will be an issue. And yes, I was just encouraging fate to have it land. Goodbye. Good times at Indusa. Sorry for bumping the mic. I think you can all agree you earned it. The S. Labaro. One week fleet. Tempting. Sorry for the music irregularity there, everybody. Just had to do some stuff off camera for like an hour. They've got a bit of a decent fleet over there, too. I'm going to have to be careful not to let their uh, fleet distribution screw everything up. And one of my fleets has just moved, so let's just see if we can upgrade some of the ships, too. I don't want... Oh, <laughs> message from Snapwave. Uh, I don't want to have compromised my ability to ward off all missiles, because 
some of their older ships will still be loaded with that. Oh, what the heck. And another little hiccup. That was Snapwave being high maintenance, that's what. Okay. That fleet is reasonably high tech. If we have any really old ones like a Defender 2, actually the, the Athena would probably benefit the most. Uh, yeah. Fleet Theta. I think this class has made sort of the most progress over the design iterations, so. And we get one more retrofit. Actually, technically I have a lot less firepower, but... Actually, really, it's hard to tell what they got better at. Oh, different types of defense. Yeah, I suppose that's important. You know what, I'm going to save my money. It'll do me good. Okay, got my propulsion back. How Dave got his propulsion back. I give you everything I've ever loved, and we call it a truce. You know what? No, but I will give up... Whoops. Is that ironic, or perhaps fitting, that I accidentally clicked the military button when I wanted to do diplomacy? Oh man, as soon as this war is over with them. Look at these guys. Stone Age. Is there anything crappy? Yeah, I'd... you can have that torpedo, actually. Don't care about it, that's fine. Really? That's such a good technology for you guys. Global Tech Park, I don't want to give that one up. If they're not going to appreciate it. Definitely don't want to give them that one. Gah. It's hard to decide exactly what to give them. Are you kidding me? Are there any resources you'd like? Perhaps some antimatter. Really? But then that really pushes them over by such a large amount. Right over. Okay, well, now that they're off my back, yeah, I'm not going to push it for open borders. We've got a peace treaty. Open borders would go a long way. Boy, that was a raw deal for me. Under very similar circumstances, I just would have, you know, put them under my foot and twisted. Well, that's real politic for you, though. Oh, these people are not particularly happy. And why should they be? Terrible planets, okay. That is a fair complaint. Might have to hop on the left side of the tech tree to mitigate that. <clears throat> Alright, 
my military has really gotten a lot more powerful now, so... I'm gonna leave these guys hanging behind. Actually, what am I researching right now? Oh yeah. That, okay, that's a good upgrade. If I have decent, Im okay. I wouldn't mind getting my logistics upgraded, but I think I'm a couple levels past it. Also, increased academy cap is nice, but that's a little ahead of where I'm at. Oh, goodness. Are there any other ways? This tends to be the food and happiness branch down here. Yeah, I'll stick with research for now. It's never a terrible idea. Well, increased warp speed would really go a long way to help me. Research first. It brings so many benefits so easily. Why not? Alright, you can stay behind. And I'm gonna leave... Delta behind as well. Everybody else? Let's do this. Missile. We should be okay against this. With my very reasonable... Okay, I took a little bit of damage, but... Begin the invasion! Oh! I've waited a long time for this. Also, they've moved their ships around a little bit. Do I leave Induce a vulnerable? No, I can wait one turn. Patience, young Dave! Patience. Yep. Yeah. We'll wait, we'll do this properly. If I send more military strength to Phaeton... Ooh, wait! Cleon's not exposed right now. Don't mind me. I'll keep this guy behind, though. Alright, that improved our invasion speed a little bit, so that's nice. And, as usual, we'll just get all of our ships traveling there as fast as we can. I'll wait one... No, I'm gonna go now. I'm going now. No, wait, Anakin, wait. And on that note, I'm going to end the video. Next time, we'll see if I can possibly hold on to this invasion. I'll see you there.